Hey everyone, today we're going to work on the refrigerator that you saw in my previous video. I'm gonna tear out the rest of the old three-way fridge and um, start taking some measurements and planning on the installation for the chest fridge. So let's get started. So the beautification project continues. This is the inside of the bathroom. And you see it's got these towel bars and they're that wonderful early 2000s gold and it's, you know, kind of mm, not nice looking. So I took the toilet paper roll for some experimentation and put a nice coat of white gloss enamel on it. And I think that that's going to be a nice look. I'm going to do the towel bars the same but I like it and it kind of goes with what I did to the fan the trim right here I did the same thing so I'll take that apart and and here's the refrigerator so this is coming out and uh, I just have to disconnect the gas lines and stuff and then I will start working on I brought the frame for the chest refrigerator with me so that I can just kind of set it in place and see where it needs to go. Um, and then the vent that I was talking about is right here, so it will have adequate ventilation. And this is also how I access the inside of the cabinet there, so I will be able to work on it from both sides. So I think uh, I'm going to enjoy my coffee in the afternoon this is a toasted white chocolate mocha it's seasonal so i made sure that i grabbed it since i found out they still had it but i'm going to start working on this and um, i'm going to do it over the course of a couple of days just because i want to take my time and do it right and then i also need to take measurements for some trim pieces there's going to be a space above the chest and I don't know, I might build a box for storage and then put in a door. Um, I haven't decided how I'm gonna handle that yet, but I have new door faces and stuff coming to replace all the drawers and these doors. And then uh, I'll have to see what I decide to do. I can order something to cover that space and build a box for it. I don't know. We'll see. But I've got plenty to keep myself busy and uh, I'll let you know how things are going. This is the inside of the van. That's the back of the fridge there. So um, for ease of working on this, this is the gas line that comes up and it just goes up and then it circles back down. Um, to this right here. So I'm going to leave the valve. I've got this off now. I'm going to leave this inside here for the time being. I'll take this line off and then cap this so that I have a second layer of protection from gas leakage. It's shut off at the tank right now, but when the tank is on, I'll have the valve, but I'll also have this capped. Um, and then eventually I may have this taken out completely, but I think I'll leave it for now in case I dream up some reason to use it, although I frankly don't know what that would be. But um, this is what I'm dealing with back here. It's already loose. I really just have to do the gas part now and then I can pull it out. But, um, and then I also have to look into how I'm going to insulate this since this will open up to the inside of the van once I have the chest in there. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work, but that's where we are. And just like magic, that sucker is out. And here's the empty cabinet. Learned a few things. Um, this is metal, so this is a very good uh, base for the track. There's some weather stripping here that 
I can probably remain or keep in here. I'll be able to attach some insulation to the insides of the cabinet itself. It's not very sturdy, but that's okay. This is probably gonna have to, well, most assuredly gonna have to come out so that the refrigerator can go back. It's uh, not quite deep enough with that thing in the way. I'll verify that as I start to put things together, but I'm reasonably sure that's gonna have to come out. And then I'll have to insulate the underside, the back side of that up against the side of the van. Cause that's, I mean, that's what's behind it is the van itself. But um, otherwise, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we have to work with. I'll get this all cleaned up and then start planning out my next steps. Um, I'm gonna bring in the, the uh, track just to see how it sits in place but um, I'm happy with uh, how it's going so far. All right, as expected, that um, panel back here is going to have to come out. You can see this is the back of where the um, chest will be, and it is right underneath this thing. I may have to take off the rear handle. Um, once this all goes together, I'll see, but kind of get a feel for how it's going to go into place. And just like that. So if it's mounted flush with the cabinetry, looks like it's going to be more or less a perfect fit once this is removed. So I'm going to take the rack out and start cleaning and get things ready um, and see how that thing comes out. Okay, it's a little more presentable. I've cleaned this up and um, you know what I think I'm going to do also? You might remember me saying how handy that um, automotive carpeting was, I'm going to probably put some of that carpeting underneath the track. Since this is going to be visible on the sides, um, we'll just make it look nice. Again, super easy to do. I'll just, you know, cut it to shape, drop it in place. The rack is going to go over the top of it anyway, and then it'll just be visible, um, you know, on the sides. But that'll also help with a little bit of insulation, a little bit of soundproofing. So I think that's going to work out really well. Next up is to try to remove that thing. And it's gone. Lessons learned. Um, that was metal. You can see it out there. And it had a ton of sealant um, holding it in along with a few screws. So this gives me, this is the back side of the the van or the, you know, it's the, the interior of the shell. So this gives me access to the screws. I can tighten everything down. Uh, it's time to grab the vacuum cause that made a mess, but you know, a little bit of time travel and a few profanities and it's out and we'll be able to move forward. Get this all cleaned up. Um, progress anyway. I'm not so worried about how this looks. This isn't really going to be visible. I'll probably end up covering it with insulation anyway. Um, the wiring, this is for the porch light out. That <laughs> is for the porch light outside. So I'll tuck this wiring up. But um, yeah, we are uh, getting there. I didn't bring the refrigerator with me today. Um, this copper line for the propane, I will have to secure. I will gently bend it up and secure it until I decide what to do with it. But I think that if I can just get it out of the way, it'll be fine. Um, I believe that's outside the confines of the, uh, the track. So I won't be forced into making a decision on that. But yeah, here we, here we are. Good stuff. 
All right, and here we are, kind of test fit. I do need the refrigerator in order to figure out placement. Um, it clears the back right here, but this actually um, comes in a little bit. Now the fridge is about that tall, or my hand is. Um, it may still clear it, and I may not have to take the handle off because the handle would be down here someplace. But in order to figure that out, I, I just need the, uh, the refrigerator. And then the gas line, I can gently bend up and attach to the sidewall here um, without having to cut it and cap it. So there we are. So next time around, I think I will bring the refrigerator with me and we can kind of put everything in place. And then I can also get an idea of uh, what kind of insulation I'm going to need. I will probably use some um, board insulation on the inside of the cabinet there. And then, you know, the back of it is already insulated. There's a vent up top that I will have to do something about. But um, I don't know. We'll see. It'll come together. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for part three, I guess. Have a great day.